What's up, everybody? I'm here to give you guys a short recap of the new episode of One Punch Man Second Season, or One Punch Man, yeah, One Punch Man Second Season on Episode Eight. Now, this episode right here looks really simple. Nothing much I can really like and give a lot of detail on. So, if anything else, let's go. Let's just get one part done, okay? I mean, there's a scene where Garo ends up taking on some watchdog whatsoever, and he's trying to. Of course, you know, Hero Hunt and tries to take him on, but unfortunately, he was unable to get land a hit on him. Now, we go back to a certain martial arts tournament of the finale of Seiyu si winning the tournament, and he's thinking about taking a relaxing break. But unfortunately for the other fighters and Seiyu himself, they get interrupted by a powerful monster who was once the former champion of the martial arts tournament, but... He was later on defeated and joined the Hero Association after becoming a monster, willingly. He even offers them a choice to become a monster, join their ranks, or die. Of course, like some of the martial artists, takes up those freaking monster monster hearts and eats them, and later on become monsters themselves. As for Seiyu, he he refused. He decides to refuse and beats them all up, especially one guy who, who was the victim of like um, Saitama's one punch hit of out of the tournament, and along with like um some other guy um well not that other guy he was also a victim but we'll get to him in just a moment. Say you takes takes care of them like no tomorrow like there were nothing absolutely nothing to his strength or whatever he has what you may call it, but when he tries to take on the leader. Gotetsu, I think that's his name, a guy with a lot of eyes, like I said, he was a former martial arts human champion, but turn, decides to turn into a monster willingly, and becomes threat level dragon. He ends up, Seiyu was unable to land any good hits on him, and any hit he lands on that guy, he's unfazed by it. As Seiyu gets his butt handed to him, of course, another guy who was, a, like I said, that other guy, which I forgot his name, he was also the victim of Saitama's one punch in the martial arts tournament. He ends up taking in a lot of hearts. Of course, it looked like he died, but eventually after a couple of heroes showed up to like um take on like um some of the Gotetsu subordinates along with like him working with Seiyu, we see to it that the heroes, two heroes who were part of the martial arts tournament, they got their butts handed by Gotetsu and that other guy, like I said, who t who ate a lot of the monster heart cells. He actually ends up transforming greatly, becoming the same level rank such as that other guy. Unfortunately for Seiyu, he was very close to dying and he was actually crying out for help, you know, because it looks like to me he was at his limit and he was being tortured by that guy who was the victim of Saitama's One Punch, the guy who ate a lot of monster hearts. If you read the manga or even watched the episode up to this point, you'll get the idea. You'll be confused as hell to even knowing what, what I'm talking about, even though you are confused right now. Seiyu, well, even though he, he, did, he does show his strength by taking on a couple monster people, unfortunately, he got his butt handed by that, got that former human who was a martial arts champion who turned himself into a monster willingly. And... Of course, that other guy, like I said, I forgot his name, who he, he was the victim of Saitama's one punch in the tournament. He ends up torturing him after he transformed into a monster after eating a lot of monster cells. And Seiyu calling out for help, and eventually Saitama shows up to save the heroes and other people who are knocked out unconsciously. And he te tells Seiyu, good job holding out for now. I, I, I heard your call and I came to help. Leave the rest to me. And Saitama gets ready to fight on the guy who was who was a victim to Saitama's one punch in the martial arts, who decides to turn himself into a monster. So pretty much this episode shows a little a fight between Garo and Watchdog, but Garo cannot land a hit on him, so that's another thing. Watchdog was like a rank S hero, I believe. As for Saitama, as for Seiyu. He ends up having to defeat a couple monsters, but unfortunately for him, he gets his butt handed by Gotetsu or that got that big that big guy whatsoever that's threat level dragon and gets tormented and tortured by by that other guy who willingly transformed himself into a monster, but Saitama shows up and gets ready to take him up take him out, <laughs> etc. So looking forward to next episode. 
Karma is going to be at its best once I watch it. Looking forward to that. So until then, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm off of Zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot!